Welcome to Fret Not. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to the Entry Level Metal Series. Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in. If you don't know anything about this channel, uh, we have went out, this channel's went out, and we've purchased entry level guitars uh, after doing tons of research that we felt like you could buy at a really budget friendly price that will actually be decent guitars. Mm -hmm. So all you need to do is go to Fret Not One or go to Fret Not Guitar Reviews, either, both on YouTube and uh, get on the page, find one of the guitars that's in a giveaway, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and then type the words D-O-N-E into the comments under the video, and that puts you in to win a guitar. Yep. Welcome to Fret Night. My name's Rob. My name's Colton, and welcome to it's kind of like a revisit of the high gain series, we'll say. Kind of, sort of. So tonight we got a special deal for you. Uh, first thing we want to do, uh, you saw the little promo as, as you come in. Man, if you don't know nothing about this channel, please go out to the Entry Level Metal Series. If you, if you need a guitar or whatever, we've got four or five on there right now. Just go watch those videos, man. It's already giving you the instructions. It's really easy to win. Get your name in the hat, man. Try to get involved in that because, hey, just shot at a free guitar. Yep. Uh, we have a lot of stuff coming down the pipe for you guys. We also have a guitar that we're modding at the moment, and we're getting uh, custom pickups put in it from Aurora Tone. Uh, we're putting Goto locking tuners on it, and then we're going to have our luthier do some neck work to it. Yep. And we're about to give that away. Um, we told you guys if you saw the last video, but we just got a different luthier who's going to build us guitar, and we're going to all kind of go through that together. Uh, we're going to go up and interview him, and we'll get you kind of let you guys kind of see the process. And uh, from what I've seen so far, man, he's a really good luthier, and uh, and you know maybe maybe it's something you can look into because uh, he, he puts out a really nice product. Man. Yeah, he's got some cool stuff. So you. We are at war tonight, if you didn't know it. <laughs> so what we're going to do tonight is we have two guitars here. They are not entry level. They're kind of mid-range. Um, that one actually went in our high gain series uh, when we did it a little a couple <clears throat> months back. But this is what we're doing tonight. Both of these guitars are kind of mid-level. Um, they both come with Evertune bridges. They have a few little differences between them. But we're going to kind of go back and we're going to let you hear these in a mix. We're going to play something uh, for you here in just a minute and let you hear both of these guitars. We're going to tell you price point, how you get it, how long it takes to get it. Um, we've had them for a couple months now, so we've had a plenty of time to play on them. So we've got, some, uh, got our chops in and yeah. we kind of know. So the first thing we're going to do tonight is we're going to give you some specs on the guitar. I'm going to let you go first. So we've got the Vola... Oz 24 AP Supernova. Gorgeous guitar. Mm -hmm. if, I don't know what the camera does, but that thing is freaking gorgeous. Yeah, it's cool. It's got a kill switch on it. Yeah, I hate you for that, because you got yep. a kill switch. Uh, 24 stainless steel jumbo frets, I'm pretty yep. sure. Yep. Uh, made in Japan. It's a ebony fretboard, an alder body, roasted maple neck, I'm pretty sure. Yep, yep. Roasted, roasted maple. maple. They call it their Vola C, so it, you know, I don't know if that's different from any other kind of C neck, but it feels good. It plays it nice. It feels like a modern C, yeah. yeah. Um, if there's anything else I'm missing, we already went over the Evertune Bridge and Goto Locking Tuners. So, and then the pickups in this one are actually yeah. from Vola. Yeah, they're Vola pickups. Because this is an AP special, in other words, this is his signature guitar, he had his hands involved in designing those pickups. Mm -hmm. and. The night this became available, I called him and told him I'm ordering that, and I was already ready to call and order some bare knuckles and put in it. But, you know, we've had that guitar for a couple months. I wouldn't change those pickups. No, it they sound pretty good. really well for that guitar. Yeah, I like it. It's comfortable to play, um, and I, ha I have fun with the kill switch every now and then. Yeah, I hate you because <laughs> you got a kill switch. Okay, so on the <clears throat> other side, we have... And I don't remember what this is. It's an A1 6 G because it's gold. This is a Solar. And this is pretty much kind of the same specs from a different company. So obviously we have an Evertune bridge on this. This one has the Duncan design for Solar pickups in it. Um, I do have a kind of a rail up front where he's got two humbuckers, another thing he beat me out on. 
Um, this has got a three-way switch volume tone. It has a roasted maple neck. Um, I have a really cool emblem. I don't have the inlay dots like he does. Yeah, I got the uh, the offset dots with the atom inlay. What I do have is I got lumen lay. He didn't get lumen lay. It's okay. Now, he never plays in the dark. <laughs> it doesn't matter. So um, this is an alder body. Uh, it's 25.5, 24 frets, stainless steel. Uh, this one is made in, well, let's just say this. It The company is in Spain. Now, I don't know where they have them made. They do have a division that builds them in Spain. Um, but I'm pretty sure this is built in a factory somewhere. But this is Ola's stuff, so this is put together really well. Mm -hmm. And a disclaimer on this guitar. So when I went, it's been a few months since I bought this. When I went to buy this, um, no, I didn't choose gold because I love gold. It just happened to be the specs I wanted, and that was the color they had left. So I got that. Um, and I'm kind of glad I did because I don't have anything else gold. No. So, there you go. Um, there was a lot of talk for a long time about these guitars with the ebony fretboards, and it worried me because I wanted to order one of their guitars. I wanted to try it out. So me being me and being double cautious, what I did was I kind of cheated the system. So I, I ordered a rosewood fretboard to stay away from the ebony so I wouldn't have that issue. And man, I'm really glad I did. Uh, I think they got all that, you know, figured out. Maybe it was just a bad shipment of ebony or something. You could have been. You know, they just build the guitar. They didn't grow the freaking ebony. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It is what it is. So, uh, but I'm going to tell you what, this little thing is a rocker. Yeah, it's a pretty nice guitar. Uh, it's very surprising for what you pay for it, what you get for it, how it sounds. I immediately, with this guitar, the same as that one. I'm like, man, I'm putting different pickups in that. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, Ola had his hands in designing these, or his people had their hands in designing these. I don't know 100%. But I'm going to tell you what, you really don't need to change these pickups, man. No, they sound great. It's very aggressive. And you're going to get to hear that here in just a minute. Um, so what? basically what we're going to do tonight, um, we're going to give you price point on these, like I said a minute ago, and we're going to show you, oh, and I got locking tuners too. Ha ha, just letting you know. Um, <laughs> Long story short, what we're going to do is we're going to play both of these in a mix. We're going to use the same drum track. We haven't decided yet if uh, we may or may not play the same thing. I don't know, because it's a battle, you know? At the heat, in the heat of battle, I may not decide to play the same thing Colton played. <laughs> you never know. But what we're really trying to do here is trying to show you the differences between these two guitars. If you can hear them, the way YouTube compresses everything. Uh, we're going to run the same patch off the quad cortex. And just so you know, we are running the JD... Nine JD nine. We're gonna run the JD nine off of the Gojira X. Um, it's one of their patches. We're not touching it. We're not EQing it. Um, we're gonna play these guitars, and if you, maybe that way you can kind of hear the difference in tone. Yeah. As of right now, they're both uh, set in drop D, and uh, that's probably one of my favorite guitars I've ever built. I bought, but I'm gonna tell you something because we're in battle. Me and this is gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll so we're gonna we're gonna shut up for a minute. We're gonna let you hear these in a mix. We're gonna come back. We're gonna talk price point, uh, what it took to get them, what our overall thoughts are, if <clears throat> this is worth the money that you spend on it, and that one too, and um, maybe give you a little bit of idea if you want to order one, what you think about it. So we're gonna get you into a mix, and we'll be right back.
Okay, we're back. You got a chance to hear both of them in the mix. Same patch, same EQ, same everything. Can you tell the difference? Um, so let's talk about um, getting one of these. So obviously you can just go straight to Solar site and they got them on there. I chose this one because I wanted something different. Everything we own is, is two humbuckers. I just wanted to do a little something different. And I'm, I didn't do it on that, that little deal right there, but that little sucker's hot. It plays really good, and it screams. It's really good for lead. So um, what do you think about yours? I like it a lot, and I especially like the kill switch. It just helps like add creativity to whatever it is that you're playing. If, you, if you're feeling Tom Morello or Buckethead, you know, whatever, you got it there. <laughs> well, I, I, have to, I have to go over there and pull the jack on mine element out <laughs> to get mine to do that. Um, this guitar... And this guitar, I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna combine this part of the review because they're almost identical. The build quality, probably nine and a half out of ten, if not ten. Um, I believe this one aesthetically is a little bit more pleasing because this one's just got a single color paint job. That's got binding. Mm -hmm. um, it's got really nice contours. Um, the nuts on the back and the bolts on the back end of the neck are countersunk. It's really well done. It feels like. You know what it feels like? Four or five years ago, I forget, I was doing something with somebody and they had a Carpathian mm -hmm. and I was playing that Carpathian. Carpathian, don't kill me. Uh, it just feels like Carpathian. Yeah. You know, it feels like a Japanese Carpathian. And it'll cost nothing as much as a Carpathian. It's comfortable to play as well. It's just, it's got all the right, all the right ridges and grooves. Yeah, nice. and it was back at a time when we bought that that we had bought custom guitars only, and I was mm -hmm. really worried about buying that because it really wasn't custom, even though AP had it built for him, mm -hmm. and he kind of designed it. It really wasn't a custom guitar, and it was funny because when we put the review up, uh, he messaged us. It's on there. You can go see it. And he goes, it is a custom. It's my custom. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool, man. And we've had a lot of views on that guitar. A lot of people have seen that, that video. Um, between both of these guitars. So this guitar was 1149 and it comes out of Spain. Um, I don't remember if I got a free shipping on it or not. I really don't think I did because I think I, maybe I did and then I paid the customs to get it in. So we're just going to say about 1100 bucks on this. That guitar was 1549, but Bola had a little coupon on their website and we got it for 1400. Not too bad. So this one was probably a little over 12 by the time it got to us and that one came uh shipped for around 1450 is where we ended up at it. So this one's a little higher. It's got a little bit more pleasingly aesthetics if you like white. Mm -hmm. If you don't like white, you probably won't like that one. <laughs> um playability, this has a tiny super thin, super fast, just slick neck on it. It's, uh, I mean, it's Ola's, you know what I mean? Or it's, it's, he had his hands in it. So this is a, this is a chug monster. Yeah. That has almost the same identical neck, same feel to it, mm -hmm. but it feels a little classier. It does it? feel, it, it does feel a little classier, but, uh, I don't think that really impacts the playability of it too much. It, it plays really well. And I really love my inlay, but I like your inlay too, yeah. man. You, I, yeah, you got cool. the stinking staggered dots. And I did. <laughs> but anyway, I got my I got my lumen lay. So you're looking at about 14 and a half. I just pulled the sight on this one. It's still at about 1550, but I'm pretty sure you just watch that page a day or two and they'll have a little 5%, maybe even 10% coupon. Uh, and get that. Yeah. This is Japanese quality, Japanese luthiers. So this is on par with so many super high-end guitars that are at that price point or twice. Yeah. Um, like I said, when we ordered these, I fully expected to put new pickups in these, and I just have not touched them. Um, they're just really good. Is, is a set of bare knuckles in it going to be a little bit better? Maybe. But I don't know if it's worth dropping three hundred dollars to just get a minuscule difference. These are really good, and I've played this guitar a lot, man. It just feels good, mm -hmm. plays good. It's fast, uh, and even though it was eleven hundred dollars, if you play it for a couple minutes and you're not looking at it all the time, you'll forget that that's a from a factory. Yeah, it it plays <laughs> like our higher end stuff. So on the battle, we really don't have a winner. I think what the battle comes down to, 
Obviously, A is price point. Mm -hmm. This one's a little more expensive, probably about $300 US out of your pocket, a little higher. Um, but if you're one, of, and this one's a little thicker. A little bit. I think it's a little heavier. I agree. And it feels like you're holding a really nice high-end instrument. You yeah. know what I mean? This one feels fantastic. It just feels more, I don't know how to say it. Um, I'm not going to say a bad word about this guitar because I was fortunate, regardless whoever got whatever else from Solar, that thing is amazing. Yeah. So uh, it's still one of my favorite guitars. Um, I drag it out all the time and play it. I don't play a lot in drop D, but when I do, that's usually what I grab. Mm -hmm. So come back to price point. I think this one probably gets edged out a little bit by this simply on the price point. And I think that one edges this one out a little bit, maybe on aesthetics. You get a little bit more with that one. You get a little bit better look, cleaner look. Mm -hmm. Now they make that guitar. I think it's a little higher though, but they make that guitar with a, uh, a Goto tremolo on it. Nice. And I believe it's a Goto, Goto or Floyd. And it's a little higher, but um, that thing feels like a, that feels like a $3,000 guitar. Easy. Yeah, it's got, um, it's got that, that mystique to it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, so if you're looking at either one of these, if you're looking at anything with a Evertune, there are a few out there that are a little bit cheaper than these. I don't know about all the appointments on them, but to get stainless steel, to get a uh, Evertune bridge, to get hot pickups, to get a roasted maple neck, regardless which body you like the aesthetics of. Now, they make this in 100 different colors. Just so happened the day I needed it, I only had gold. So, <laughs> And uh, actually, on their website, it looks yellow. I didn't even know it was gold. It does they look sent a, little, me the receipt. a little yellow. Yeah, when they sent me the receipt, I was like, it says gold. But anyway, so bar none, extremely ecstatic on both of these purchases. Um, and I think you could... Uh, I, 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 you know, if you're going to spend uh, somewhere around a thousand bucks, maybe twelve, thirteen hundred bucks, man, before you do that, if you play the style of music we play, maybe go check these out. This one's a little more versatile than this one. This is a heavy metal machine, and that's what those pickups are designed for. Uh, the signature guy, AP, on this, he kind of created his a little bit where they clean up a little bit better. Uh, they're still as nasty as these, but they do have that essence to clean yeah. up. So maybe this one wins a little bit in versatility. So bar none, I won the battle, but maybe his <laughs> guitar kind of edges out on everything else except the price. But listen, man, uh, we're in the process of doing a million things for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, take a little bit of time. Go look at these guitars, man. Maybe they got something you want. Maybe they don't. But I promise you we got to stack them. We got more coming. Um, and we're going to find something else maybe that gets you know get your attention yeah so let's all say it together i won okay all right guys we really appreciate you guys you guys have a great night and uh until next time stay tuned